We are going to get in questions. So in the first round, uh, Minister, the uh, the members have up to six minutes to ask uh, questions for uh, for each party. We are starting with uh, MP Hallen for uh, six minutes, please. Thanks, Chair. Minister, have you seen our Common Sense Conservative Leader's brilliant 15-minute documentary on the housing held in Canada that's been viewed over four million times? conservative scheme on housing. I haven't watched the video itself. Okay, so I would strongly I would encourage that, that you do watch is. it because it's a common sense conservative plan how to build more homes and not more bureaucracy. And while you're at it, maybe like, share and subscribe so <laughs> others can see a common sense conservative plan on how to get housing fixed as well. I'm happy to comment your, on the conservative scheme today. Housing, in Minister, fact, your, your government's very happy housing to. agency, CMHC, says that 3.5 million additional homes need to be built in Canada by 2030 to restore housing affordability. Your housing agency, the same one, the head of that agency says that, it said two days ago at the Senate Finance Committee that your government has no plan to reach that number. In fact, in this committee, that same agency, your housing agency, says that that target is not attainable under current conditions because of high interest rates and because of higher costs that were caused by your government. In other words, your own housing agency has no faith in you or your government. If your own housing agency has no faith in you, why should Canadians? Thank you for the question, Mr. Hallen. Uh, you asked me to comment on the Conservative scheme on housing. I, I didn't so ask you to comment so. on that. I made you, a comment. In, in fact, invited me to. So let me comment. I'd like to First hear First of all, I would point out... Point of order. Point of order. Mr. Halan, as he does every time the minister comes, asks a question and makes a statement and then refuses to allow the minister to answer. And so, Mr. Chair, I would just ask yeah, I did that not we, ask allow, about we allow the minister to answer the questions out of respect okay, for you. the minister and the other My members of this committee, but the also the folks at home who are watching who would like to hear the answers. The question uh, is about the uh, department uh, not having MP faith Holland, in you. MP Holland, I am going to ask, like it did happen in the last meeting, a lot of crosstalk, you jumping in when... when you ask a question. The question uh, allow, was not about allow, the documentary. Out, out of the question was about you ask the question not out of, out of respect and uh, out of All respect right. to everybody that's Where's here. This? Minister, can you please MP Holland, answer MP Holland. why yeah. Canadians uh, should have faith in you, MP Holland. even though your housing MP agency Holland. doesn't? That's M the question. MP Holland. I, I've asked my M question. M MP Holland. You asked a question. Allow the witness to answer the question. She's not the answering witness did, the question. The witness did not even have a nanosecond to answer your question. Point, point of so, order, Mr. Chair. Point of not, order. not only is is that irrelevant and untrue, and they're not asking answering the question. You shut me down the last uh, by adjourning the meeting improperly. So could you please let conservatives speak? I know you don't want to hear it as a liberal. I know no. you don't want to hear about the housing hell. And, and you, MP, you're, MP you should Lawrence. watch the video too. I might add. MP Lawrence, I, I, I Chair, I, I'll ask I, my I, question I, again. Let's MP move on. Hallett, I, will, I will ask MP my Hallett. question again. It's my time, Chair. Uh, uh, I will ask the question in fact, again. Actually, actually, Minister, let me just your housing say, agency I, has I no believe, faith. I believe in that your MP Hallen asked me a Canadians? question. I, I certainly believe the point of this exercise is for him to ask me a question. He offered quite a long Questions preamble on the table three with times lots now. of points embedded in it. Why should and Canadians like have faith in you when those. your own agency if, doesn't? If MP you, Hallen MP would Hallen. like That's to hear a question. response. Allow the witness, please, to answer the questions. Yeah, I, I'd also like to point out that conservative senators have been reprimanded for bullying witnesses, and it would be terrible to have that kind of behavior. Your prime minister has been reprimanded for bullying strong women in his own caucus for standing up to his corruption. So, so let me let me now speak about housing, um, and let me first point out that there is an internal contradiction in what the conservative members of this committee have done when it comes to voting and their it's proposed irrelevant scheme to my on question. housing. Actually, Point I of believe order, that Mr. your Chair. votes are very Point relevant. There has to be. Question you have clear. to stop interrupting. Yeah. Stop Point. interrupting. Yeah. So I'll, I'll move on. I'll move on. No, I, I I'll haven't finished I'll, answering. I'll move on. It's my time. And I only no, have I'm, I'm afraid, time. actually, so, it's time for so questions and answers, MP Allen. So I Minister, would like to answer. This because is the I have things why, to say about housing because we have a plan. This is exactly the reason why your non-answer proves why Canadians and your own housing agency has no faith in your government to Point of order. the target. Point of order. Uh, what, this, what, this of proves, order. what this proves is that the Conservatives do not want to actually listen to the answers. The point of order is... 
Excuse me. Excuse me. I, excuse me. I have listened to you interrupt the minister and not allow her to speak. I have the right to make a point of order. Now I'm being interrupted and heckled during my point of order. Please, Chair, please, I'm asking you. Mr. Minister Freeland has the right to respond to this the questions that are put order, to Chair. And, and this is not this is Do a point your job. of job. Now I'm being heckled and interrupted. It's not a point of, point of order. This is a breach of process. This is thank you. It, yeah. Okay. The witnesses have. Here's, okay. I will, I will move on. I, MP I can't, Lawrence and MP Chair. Holland this has descended so badly now that I'm being yes. interrupted during my point of order. Yes. Okay. Members, first off, stop the crosstalk. Okay. Stop the crosstalk. I'll, and I'll the move on. other thing is, MP Holland, MP Lawrence, any MP is we have interpreters here, you know? There's a lot of screaming going on. If, me you know, members screaming into the mics, I think I, in my opening remarks, I explained the danger, the health and safety to our interpreters. So I would ask, that is with crosstalk, that is with screaming, that is with not having respect and decorum here in this room. I think that is what we want. Point of order. Yeah, we are looking Point for of respect order. and decorum. Point of Please order, Please don't crosstalk. And I did not, I raised my voice at a reasonable tone, and you did not recognize it last meeting. So that's why I have to raise my voice, because I'm hoping you'll hear me, Chair. I can hear you, MP Lawrence. Well, Chair, can MP you Chair, with respect, I'd like to move on to my next question. So we can agree that Canadians and your own housing agency don't have faith in your government, uh, which they've already outlined. And that's why, that's why, after your government spent $89 billion on photo-op funds for housing promises that have not been actualized, rents, mortgages the amount of down payment needed on a house has all doubled in just eight years. This was never there before your government, and it certainly won't be there afterwards. Canadians are living in a housing hell and a, and a, a cost of living crisis. Two million Canadians are going into a food bank in a single month just in eight years. There's a 100% increase in food bank usage. A third of those ki are, are kids that are starving because of high taxes like the carbon tax, and other factors that have been caused by your government. The number one reason for food bank usage is because of the housing unaffordability that your government has created. Ten cities across this country, there are nurses living in their cars, there are students living under bridges. That's eight years after your government. Why should anyone believe that anything that your government has done is actually helping addressing the affordability crisis? Thank you for the question. Let me just start by saying... Canadians know the Conservatives cannot be trusted when it comes to protecting the most vulnerable people in Canada. Since we formed government, 2.3 million Canadians have been lifted out of poverty. Two and million our government to has particularly... Ha I, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Hallan. I'm speaking about poverty in Canada, which you purport to care about and which you purport to have addressed in your question, and I'd like to finish my answer, please. It was, it was about food banks. Uh, the Canada jo Child Benefit has had a huge impact on Canadian families and is having an impact today, lifting millions and millions out of poverty, and the statistics show that. Our early learning and child care program Minister, is the, helping the question Canadians... Was clear. I'll have to you move on because I have a limited no, amount I'm of time. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You those, haven't given those, me a chance to those, answer, and that with all is of not that, only rude, it's inappropriate Two million Canadians are still going into food bank. I'll just ask my last question because my time is limited. Your government promised by Thanksgiving that the price of food would go down. A scathing report came out this morning on the food index saying that food costs are going up, driven up also by your carbon tax because you're taxing farmers and those that are shipping the food and storing the food. Th those people going into a food bank are increasing because of food costs and housing costs caused by your government. 83% actually that are going to food banks are working families. That's a phenomenon that we've never seen in this country before. So you promised on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving went by, food prices didn't come down. We thought maybe you meant the U.S. Thanksgiving. That went by as well. Nothing happened. It's almost Christmas time, and there's literally kids in this country asking Santa not for gifts, but just for food that they could put on their table. On what date will food prices actually come down so Canadians can afford to eat, and when will you axe the tax so, so people can put food on their table and heat their homes? So let me just be clear. I've been repeatedly interrupted, and what we see is that Conservatives are interested in posturing. They're not interested in asking actual questions. But let me be clear. Canadians know that Conservatives only believe in cuts, 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 
particularly Absolutely. for the most vulnerable among us. And that is why our government is so committed to supporting the most vulnerable, to supporting children. 2.3 million Canadians lifted out date? of poverty. The Canada Child Benefit, money directly for the most vulnerable children in our country. And when it comes to housing, the purported subject of this meeting, let me just be clear that the Conservative purported scheme actually would go backwards on housing. It would actually the put up? the GST Chair, back up, on the construction of Five rental minutes, housing that we need. Up. This is not a scheme. This is putting Canada into reverse, when actually what we need to do is build more homes faster. Thank you, Minister. The time, the time is, uh, is up now. And uh, so just on that, on the timing, as, as members know, uh, each party has six minutes. If a question is asked when there's like five, five at five and a half minute mark or five forty, and the witness then is answering, the time will go over the six minutes. And that is as we have uh, the practice that we have kept here on this committee, and that's what we will continue to keep doing unless the members decide otherwise. And now we are moving to uh, MP Zerowitz, please. Yeah, quick point of order. Well, I, I know Conservatives for a long time. I know because I've supported these calls, have wanted to see the Minister come here not on a government bill, but as part of one of our studies. What I didn't realize was that Mr. Halan wanted her here to perform a monologue in front of her and not to actually have a conversation. I wonder perhaps... This is not order. a point of order. Perhaps the committee... This is not a point of order. Perhaps the committee... Mr. Chair. ...could invest in some gold stickers or something to assuage Mr. Halan's ego so thank, that... Thank next you. Time okay. this, is this is not a point of order. Come on now. Conversation. This is not a point thank of order. Thank you, MP Blakey. We just... Uh, trying to be constructive, but, guys. But yeah, we are trying to have... We point, do have the minister. Point of we order. Have the point of order. Here. I'm calling a point of order. Point you of have order. to recognize yes, me. Yes, yeah, of course. MP Halan. It is any member's right to do whatever they would like with their time. And just because, you know, Liberals and the NDP or the minister doesn't like what I do with my time, it's still my time. So I would... Hope that you would appreciate it is, that. It we is can your, ask it, what it, we it want. It is your, it is your and time. And if we're not having an answer we, given, yeah, it is we should time. have the right to move on. Yeah, it is your time. We just ask that all members do, you know, use their time, uh, this valuable time that we have with the minister, we, with in, in a respectful way, and we have decorum here at our committee. Uh, MP Zerowitz, please, it's your time now. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chair, and I want to thank the Deputy Prime Minister for being here today. I do want to start off with two things. Uh, on the record, uh, Mr. Chair, I also want to say the Conservatives keep on asking our Deputy Prime Minister to attend, but not giving her a chance to respond. So it's very sad to hear that the Conservatives are afraid to hear the facts directly from the Deputy Prime Minister and are willing to talk over her and interrupt her. I don't know why she would ever accept an invitation from us if this is what's going to happen. I'm also going to say I am absolutely appalled that there was an accusation accusation about our Prime Minister being a bully uh, to uh, former females members of Parliament. It is an appalling accusation and completely untrue, and that needs to be stated as well.